All right, so let's start coding logic for opening the text files. So that's our MNU file open underscore click event. And we did it before. Basically, we will open the dialog and then we will check whether the dialog result is OK. So let's do an if statement. Go to DGL open and show the dialog. And if the user decides to perform an action other than canceling, then our dialog result is going to be OK. And we need to act on it. And what we want to do here is to open the file that the user selected. So we need a stream reader. So I'm going to create a stream reader object. I'll just call it input file as usual. And this is going to be a new object of stream reader. And we pass the stream, which is going to be the path. And we don't know what it is, but we are using the dialog. So that means we have access to property file name in the dialog. So DGL open that file name is the file that we are going to be opening. And now you want to populate our text box with the content of this file. So we'll go to txt editor dot text and we'll go to our input file and we will read everything to end. So all the text in that file will be read and passed into the property text of our editor. And that's it. Our file was open and read. Now we can close it. So it's going to be input file dot close. And we don't want any text selected. So we'll do txt editor dot selection length to be equal to zero. So this way the user has nothing selected by default and the user performs any selections in the text that he or she wishes. So let's see if this works. I'll go to start, file, open, and here we can browse to some text files. And I navigated to a folder with some text files that I have here. And I'm just going to open exercises.txt. So this is my C-sharp exercises text file. And you can see everything is formatted by our default that we had saved last with the italics and underlined to be selected by default and medium is the font because this is how we saved the configuration last time in our previous exercise. So all the text is formatted this way. I can of course now go and uncheck everything and change the configuration as I wish. But here you can see we were able to open a text file into a text editor, but we are not able to save it yet. So let's do that next.